Teacher of Skin. Today we're checking out Boat Anime for West Country Roll. Yes, we've got another month. This one is actually classroom related. Get out of the way, fly. Let's take a look inside. Oh, okay. This is interesting. This is probably the first time we've ever had a crate that actually has a whole design or something sitting on the top of it. What you do? Um, sure. I'm slightly puzzled here because normally don't we have. Does Luke Anime actually guarantee a t-shirt? I can't remember anymore. Let's take a look at the first thing we have at the box. Um, look at this. It is from Revolutionary Girl Utena. It's a lunchbox. A bit interesting. Huh. I'm a little bit surprised by that. Okay. Revolutionary Girl Utena. Venture box. Let's go out to the wide while I just talk about this. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to uh, Loot Anime with Crunchyroll. The classroom theme? I'm mildly surprised by what is inside this one. Sorry, excuse for the ruffling noises, but yeah, a bento box. So do you know what a bento box is? So pretty much it's the lunch boxes you would have in a Japanese meal in school. You see the top half opens up, you got your chopsticks, close that over and protects, then you have a rubber seal, and then you have a series of compartments that you can actually put in your rice, plums, whatever the hell you're doing. Even then you take that out and pull it out if you wanted to. And then on the bottom half, you got another seal, as you can see, and that comes in and that probably has your miso or your, your like soup for your meal. That's pretty much a bento box. An interesting gift, something that I wouldn't expect a lot of people to use in their homes, but if I could actually give that to a kid that would actually get their lunches put in this every single day, I'm sure they would actually be the talk of the town because that'd be pretty cool to actually have your hot lunch while everybody else is eating their cheap little sandwiches. That's pretty cool, I like that. I also like the fact that it's Revolution in Girl Lieutenant. Great series, um, bizarre movie, if you ever get the opportunity. It's one of those shows that definitely had a situation where the TV show did the manga, and the movie was given to somebody who had an idea of what they wanted to do with it before it even started. The whole turn into a car thing, I think, it feels like, if I sat down and watched Revolutionary Girl in town and now, it would make me think I was watching Moonwalker. I'd be watching the same way Michael Jackson turned into the robot and into a car. It's surreal. So what have we got here for the next one? We have Danganronpa. Nice. Let's see what we've actually got inside of it. I think this is actually marked as a tie. So, oh, that's actually pretty cool. Danganronpa tie. This is actually quite nice. I do like the design. It's a wee black tip. It's really, really simple. All I've done is actually put like a cross symbol on the end of it, and then done as a two-tone tie. Let's see if I can remember my wins or not from the school days. I think I, one of the things where I've never been a tie person in general, so this is going to be uh, about as well tied as the one in the Avril Lavigne Skater Boy video. Let's see. Hmm. There we go. I should we actually remember the Black Parade at some point, or is it actually the Seven Nations Army. Can't remember which one was it. Which one of those bands actually played played a lot while wearing ties? So, Assassination Classroom, a really decent series that actually has a full kind of back to school set, which is actually a little mini dry erase board and magnet set, which is useful and cool. Um, I like the actual face of the school teacher. It looks pretty bizarre and threatening. Um, I'm familiar enough with the show, but. <sighs> I don't think I've, I've actually watched character designs. I've seen people do designs and do a lot of like posting up on DeviantArt of characters from it, but never actually watched an episode of the series, which I take to be uh, Assassination Classroom is one with the kids who are trained to be assassins. But I know, I remember seeing scenes where actually like panels from it where they're on a rooftop and one of them's actually done something really horrible in the past and they haven't explained it, he hasn't figured out what it is yet. I'm pretty sure I could probably find a clip of that and actually have it sitting up around here in the corner or so on, but... This Assassination Classroom, it's school stuff, really. It's a dry whiteboard with uh, magnets and a blackboard. There's um, nothing really to take out and talk about on that other than talk about the shoe. So what else we got in here? Oh, okay. This is interesting. We a bunch of key fobby chain characters. Oh, so it's actually a selection of ones. So I'm trying to look at it. I don't know if I recognize the series or the characters. Look 
get a better closer look. Anybody it actually says it is? It says you seem to be a bunch of characters. Is this the characters from Fruit Baskets? Is this Fruit Baskets? It has to be. Yes, it is. These are Fruit Basket characters. Oh, cool. Well, actually, the first uh, for classroom anime. I like that. Fruit Basket was one of my... I really enjoyed the show. Uh, just the um, basic premise. But see the characters on the front of it, or actually one of them is the little girl. She is a rice bun because she's really good at making rice buns. <laughs> and then the rest of them is uh, Rat Boy, uh, Cat Boy, and Cow Boy. And of course, they're wearing hats representing each of the animals they turn into from the Zodiac. That's kind of cool. So one, two, three, four characters. That's actually nice. It's a bunch. It's a bunch of like keychain charms for characters. Yeah, I'd get it. I'd like that. That's something I could give out to a couple of friends of mine. Something to carry around with. Okay, so a Lunami phone charm. As always, this one is themed after a school book. Yeah, I like the design in that one. It actually, looks kind of nice. Not too sure about the theming, but uh, yeah, school book does the job. Again, always phone charms, which are pretty cool. Oh, well, I pulled up two things over once. What's this one? This is Digimon Adventure. English dub movie releases on Thursday, September 15th, 2016. Oh, so this Thursday coming. Digimon Adventure Try the Movie. I'm assuming this is, uh, yes, it looks like postcards. So is there more than one of them? Okay, let's see. Yeah, so it's another little uh, postcard booklet uh, wrapped up for keeping it safety. I'm probably not going to take that out just yet, but of course, Agumon sitting there being very helpful to whoever the lead character is of Digimon Adventures Try. I used to love the Digimon series. Uh, it was really well done. I liked the fact that they kind of, they, it actually did continue itself on from one to the next, unlike uh, other shows um, that were kind of for kids at that time. It was, it was selling a world that people hadn't bought into, really, which was the main problem because Pokemon had taken over so much. And then Digimon was the, the successor, the second thing that came out afterwards and not seen as a rip-off or a knockoff, which is really horrible whenever it's actually got a way to look at its own that actually had a lot more thought, in my opinion, to the character design, the histories of the characters, how it all kind of like tied together over time. There was a lot of thought into it. There's a really good series. Um, I th who was it that did that? There was actually somebody from the Nostalgia Critic crowd uh, from Channel Awesome that did Digimon reviews. If I can remember who it is, I might put it in the comments underneath because there was a really good look, in-depth look into the way the series is connected to each other and how the sourcing was done. Really recommend watching that if you actually were at all interested in Digimon and just makes it really, it makes a rewatch of it much more interesting. So of course the other thing that came out of the box there was a manga. And it's the Persona, is it volume one of Persona 3? Yeah. So volume one of Persona 3, the manga, Great game series. Uh, Persona 5 is just about to come out in Japan. I've had a glancing look at it. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting. I really want to wait to get it whenever it's in English. And I want to properly enjoy it because I, Persona to me is actually all... I really enjoy the story to the Persona games. And um, I don't want to be playing a game with a translated script next to me. Even though there, one doesn't exist yet. But I know there will and will exist fairly quickly after this game comes out. So, yeah, chapter one, Persona 3. That'll be my reading materials for a bus journey sometime soon. And we, of course, go on. Is there anything else in there? Nope. We're on to our Loot Anime poster of the month, Classroom. Oh, this actually looks cool. I actually like the design in this one so far. I'm talking about it before I've even fully unfolded it. But, um, wow. One of, that's one of the things where the posters are getting better that come with these series. I'm really, really enjoying them. So there we go. Hmm. What do you guys think? That is actually a pretty cool design. Ah, I haven't put any of these up yet and I really need to go through them all. I like the fact that we're getting to see, uh, not Crunchyroll, he means, who is Luke Chan. I keep calling her Luke Chan because I keep on forgetting what her name is. But seeing her classmates, that's pretty cool. I like that. The cheeriness of a bunch of school kids hanging out. And of course we get to see one of Court Wolves on the back of it. The, um, yes, it was Fruit Baskets for Keychains, I was right. Assassination Classroom, Assassination Classroom Whiteboard, or Whiteboard. Revolution Yigoro Yutena Bento Box, Persona 3 Manga Volume 1, The Danganronpa Cosplay Tie, uh, Back to School Phone Charm, and Digimon Adventure Tribe Print Set. 
Yeah, man. Fair enough. That's not too bad. Um, there's a distinct lack of a t-shirt in this one, but um, there was never an intention that you have a t-shirt in every one of these boxes. So I'm not too disappointed. So yeah, and this is meant to be turned into a desk with the way it's folded. So are we going to do that? No, because bits of it have to be snipped off. No. So instead we're just going to fold it inside out, as we always do with every crate, and just keep the design on the outside. So yeah. Look at anime boxes, uh, if you notice mine has came in a bit of a bad nick. There was a bit of, uh, the way this one was packed meant that it was quite heavily crushed in a way. And that meant, led to it of course being not exactly uh, in the most fit condition whenever it arrived to me. I'm not too upset by that. Um, it would annoy me more if there was anything uh, lost from the crate. Especially with the way the lid being pushed up or so on. There is some small objects in this that could have very easily fallen out and gone lost by the wayside and that annoys me but in the end up I know that Loot Crate would solve the problem and of course replace it if needed. So yeah that was the instructions on making it into a desk so I didn't do that but instead I have the desktop so you can check out my rice balls and my textbooks. So let's get back to school. <laughs> Guys thank you very much for watching this has been uh, Loot Crate Anime for the month of... this is the August Crate? Yeah. This would be the August crit or, yeah, it's definitely the August crit. I'm trying to remember where, which way the schedule's still landing. These would have still been August crits. I'm still only working my way through the backlog. Well, let's see what we've got for the last crit of the month, which I think, yeah, it's a Loot Crit DX crit, so it'll be the big stuff. Let's see what they did for the big things for the month of August. Um, assuming with the theme of Mecha, we're going to maybe have a loop over from what we had over the, la the last month's Loot Crit. Loot Crate DX uh, last month we didn't put up a video for because I end up uh, I lost all the footage and the audio was gone and it was such a good crate too. That's the one. That's the it's a it's a one big regret I've had over the last couple of months of doing these. That sometimes I've been a bit slapdash about them because I I don't get the viewership that goes to watch these crates like the other people who have thousands of channels or thousands hundreds of thousands of subscribers, but the. Um, I still think they think that uh, people who are enjoying this content should get them. <laughs> uh, so even though I did it slapdash, on occasion to get these done, mistakes were made and I lost all the video for that recording and that was a bad move on my part. So until then, I will see you guys all until the next video. Remember to like and comment and subscribe and discuss the contents you saw. If you really, really want a recommendation out of this whole selection for the Loot Create Anime of this month, I would highly recommend checking out Revolutionary Girl Utena. Uh, female protagonist falling in love with another female character. It's a classic anime. It's been around for a long time. I might do a look through on it and do a, like a compare thing with the TV series to the movies. Because there's a couple of series by Clamp that I'd really like to do that with. Like X as well, which would be, was a really good show. If you've seen footage of it up here, if that interests you, of course remember to look at my anime list and go and find a source and a way to get yourself, get it inside your eyeballs. A good example of a way to do that would be to go to Crunchyroll. There will be codes underneath to give yourself a couple of days. You may not be able to get this show, but you'll be able to get at least some of these shows. Uh, specifically, I think Digimon Adventure Try made it onto Crunchyroll, so you'll be able to check that out on the website. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Remember the like button's right there, the like's right next to it. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye.